Satan gave me this mess. And has watched it flourish under senior pastor Tony Evans. Adultery, betrayal, secrets. Part of the human... When you give your $1,000 gift, you receive a special... <laughs> about the alleged abuse. The church says all three elders did not have all the facts at the time. Hello everybody, this is Terry Dance. Welcome to the program today. I am dealing with ministry killing spirits. And I just pray the Holy Spirit touches your heart, ministers to you in a, in a special way. If you enjoy the broadcast, be sure and subscribe to it. Uh, send it out, send the link to others. Yeah, I've done, this is my fifth show on this. I'm going to, I'm going to take this for months because I want to expose these spirits. I want us to look at these spirits that have caused that are causing the church uh, leaders and also members of the church to fall. What kills uh, the ministry? Satan hates us. He hates the church. He hates anything that have to do with Jesus. And if he can shame it, bring it into guilt, he can destroy the body of Christ. And if the shepherds fall, then the body and the sheep will scatter. That's his goal and that's his plan. And in the local church, God, Jesus said the ecclesia, I'm going to build my church. You can't, you'll never ever be able to replace the local church. It's not going anywhere. It is the plan of God in the earth, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to perfect, the, perfect the saints for the work of the ministry. So I just pray for you in Jesus name. And if you'll go to my website, uh, and you go and you look at, uh, my books, the, the book that I wrote, Awaken, really deals with a lot of this. I deal with abuse. I deal with several things and it's, it's really, uh, you know, letters of a spiritual father to this generation. I wrote this book as letters. I didn't write it as chapters. I, I wrote it for my children. I wrote it for uh, the millennials and the Gen Z's. And I just really pray that you'll get that book and begin to read it and do it, do it in, uh, gosh, do it in group study and let these truths get deep on the inside of you. Now, in ministry killing spirits, Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 2, gross darkness is going to cover the people. Rise, shine, for the light has come. The light of Jesus is going to shine. We have to humble ourselves before God. We have to repent of the sin in our lives, and, and he will exalt us. Every day, we have to get up and we expect God but we asked, you know, humility, when when you look at what real humility is, humi humility is the recognizing of your own humanity. Uh, that without Jesus, you're nothing. And I know people say, well, bless God, this I'm not without him. Yes, of course you're not without him. But that's not what that scripture means. That scripture is taking us to the reality of pride versus humility. And pride is the very root of hell itself. That is what caused Lucifer to fall. Uh, Isaiah 14, it tells it, oh, Lucifer, you know, you know, my, have you fallen? And it just goes into all the de details because you said in your heart, I will be like the most high. You know, people, it's, it's interesting. You give someone authority and sometimes, honestly, they just go flat crazy. They, they want to dominate. They like that feeling. They're in control of a human being. And I can tell you what, that's demonic and it's witchcraft. I've watched abuse. I've watched manipulation. And this is in the church and in leadership. And here I, I've traveled this country teaching on the, the spirit of the armor bearer to raise up, support your leaders in that spot because they are human and they're going to fall. They're going to fail. I'm not going to say fall, but they'll fail. They'll make mistakes. But what happens, Satan comes in. Uh, our, our minds and begins to control and manipulate because you've, 
you've built this huge ministry and everybody's clapping. Oh, you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. And then the next thing you know, all that goes to your head because you think I've done this and now I have to control it. And I've got to, I've got to keep it. Uh, my Bible says Jesus will build, build my church. And a lot of these mega ministries, we've watched them fall in the last few months. It's because there was sin in their hearts. They didn't judge the sin in their hearts. They didn't allow the Holy Spirit to work in them. And they, they moved themselves up into a place of power and they fell. But if pride is the root of all hell, then humility is the root of love. Love came down from heaven in the spirit of humility, walked away from everything, humbled himself and became a man. God becomes a man and humbles himself and says, I am among you as a servant. Oh my gosh. He washed his disciples' feet. He, he ministered love to the broken and they hated him for it. And he maintained his heart. He never sinned. He, he never, uh, stepped over the line. And yet humility is the root of all the graces because the Bible says he gives more grace to the humble. Uh, and let me grab, grab this real quick. I want to read this in James chapter four. I want you to listen to this. Uh, or do you think that the scripture in verse five is in vain that the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealousy, jealously? Oh my gosh. The Holy Spirit relentlessly pursues us. He pursues us to get close to him. He pursues us to iron out the, the flaws in our life. And as long as I look at my life and in any confrontation situation that I look back and say, Holy Spirit, I humble myself. And when you do that, you are out for others. True humility is living your life for someone else. It just is. The armor bearer, the revelation is what you make happen for someone else. God makes happen for you. It's when you lower yourself and you love. Listen to this. He gives more and more grace. It says, for God resists the proud, but he gives grace. Many scriptures says more and more grace to the humble. He resists. He resists pride, but he gives grace to the humility. Pride releases all hell. Humility releases all of heaven in your life. Father, right now I pray for everyone watching this. We judge the pride in our life. We judge the sin in our life. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that the church, the pure, the strong, the glorious church is rising up out of this season of ashes. But God, you help us to repent before you. You help us to repent before others. And that we do, we, Holy Spirit, our hearts are to yield to you in this season. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day. Begin to just praise him. Begin to thank him. Don't get your eyes on men and women. Get your eyes on Jesus. God bless you.